expect the unexpected. Week 8 of the Summit Athletic Conference football season did not disappoint. Bishop Dwyer lost its first game of the season to the Panthers, Concordia made a statement on the road, and Homestead is starting to peak at a point in the season when you want to be peaking. The Kelly Automotive Group is proud to sponsor the Summit City Sports Top 10 Players of the Week. Coming in at number 10 is Wayne's Keyshawn Fields. The junior running back rattled off 113 yards on just 11 attempts for an average of 10.3 yards per carry against the defense that held Carroll to a total of 36 yards rushing last week. His 54-yard touchdown run in the second quarter sent the Generals into halftime tied at seven. Hands Fields once again, Fields cuts. Uh-oh, Keyshawn Fields, he got a good block from Devonair Kelsall, and Keyshawn Fields, five touchdown. I don't think many were surprised that Concordia beat Carroll. It's how they did it. At number nine is Cadet Amir Drew. The sophomore running back kept the Chargers defense on its heels. Drew rattled off 52 yards on 18 carries with three touchdowns handing Carroll its most lopsided loss of the season, 47 to 21. Northside's Ronald Collins III comes in at number eight. The sophomore QB once again was getting it done through the air with 185 yards passing, completing 13 of 20 with two touchdowns. He was also getting it done with his feet, rushing 22 times for 116 yards with another score in the 43 to 37 loss to Northrop. In at number seven is Concordia's Brandon Davis. The sophomore QB had a QB rating of 135.7, completing 10 of 14 passes for 208 yards and a touchdown, while splitting time with senior Jake Bird. Going up against the 6A Chargers, his rushing touchdown tied the game at seven. Through the lone setback, they got a wing right, and Davis sneaks it, and did he get in? No indication, yes, he's in. Give that man six points, touchdown. His 30-yard touchdown pass to Kamari Anderson Drew ignited a cadet 19-0 run. Bishop Lures' Justin Gaston comes in at number six. The senior has slowly been returning to form after an injury late in the Homestead game. He finished the 48-16 win over Southside with 133 all-purpose yards, including an interception, which he followed up with a 14-yard rushing touchdown. He took the first punt of the game 53 yards to the house, setting the tone for the Knights. Got a decent leg on it, Gaston's going to field, no fair catch. He goes to the left, he's got a seam down the sideline. He's got the speed and he is gone. That is Justin Gaston to the house. Coming in at number five is Northrop's Jeremiah Green. He scored the first touchdown of the game for the Bruins and finished the night with 24 carries for 125 yards and three touchdowns. He's been a steady force for Northrop, which picked up its third win of the season for the first time since 2012. He ranks number three in the SAC with 802 yards rushing and is tied for the conference lead with 13 touchdowns. At number four is Snyder's and Nice Lockett. The senior running back rushed 15 times for 122 yards with a touchdown versus the Saints' vaunted defense. Lockett ranks number three in the SAC with 12 touchdowns and number two in rushing yards with 879, with an average of 6.5 yards per carry. Concordia's Kamari Anderson Drew comes in at number three. The big play receiver recorded eight receptions for 123 yards with two touchdowns versus the Chargers. He ranks number three in the SAC with 756 receiving yards while averaging a league best 22 yards per reception amongst players with more than 10 receptions. On defense, he had two tackles, one pass defended, and this INT. At number two is Homestead QB Luke Goody. The six foot five inch sophomore leads the SAC with a 109.5 QB rating amongst quarterbacks with more than 30 attempts. Up against a stout Wayne defense, Goody kept the Spartans out in front. He completed 11 of 17 passes with a 54-yard touchdown throw to Mitchell Westner. Then he ran for a touchdown, then found Griffin Little for the nine-yard score in Homestead's biggest win of the season. 
In one of the best rivalry games in the state, Snyder's John Barnes Jr. flat out got it done versus Bishop Dwanger and comes in at number one. Barnes had the Saints defense confused with the read option. His 29-yard touchdown run opened the scoring for the Panthers. On top of that, the junior QB completed 80% of his passes, hitting 12 of 15. But none bigger than when he found his big tight end, Simon Dellinger, in the 21-13 win, handing Dwanger its first loss of the season. He's going downfield. He is off to the races. The big tight end scores a touchdown. Outstanding play call from the Snyder Panthers. The Kelly Automotive Group would like to congratulate all the players that made the Summit City Sports Top 10 list and good luck this week. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch every top 10 video this football season. Want to see more videos like this? Consider a sponsorship and join our winning team today.